Today we're going to be checking out Zombie Dragons. I was browsing the world box reddit, and on the reddit, it showed that you can infect a dragon with the zombie virus. The zombie infection right here infects creatures with zombie virus. And so I was wondering if it was real, and I was also wondering, since it doesn't specify what creatures, it just says creatures, are there also zombie variants of all the different types of animals in world box? What happens if you infect a snowman with the zombie virus? Does it become a zombie snowman? So as you can see, I loaded into a new world box world and we're gonna test some things out. I'm gonna place in a sheep right here. Right here's the perfect spot. <laughs> All right, sheep becomes zombie. It is infected. You can see the little particle effect go and it's shaking, it's vibrating. And if I go here and inspect it, Imsa the sheep here has a trait of infected. He dreams of brains. So we're gonna wait and see if this sheep turns into some sort of a zombie sheep. <gasps> it did! Whoa, whoa, that's so cool. So now, it just ate a bug. <laughs> so now if we look at the sheep, it's got green eyes. It has like this weird purple. It has like scratches on it. It's zombie and it's immortal. You must be able to just turn anything into zombies. So if I now bring it over to the humans, does it actually fight the humans? Oh, it does. And it infected the zomb- <laughs> And it infected the human with the zombie virus. So now if we look at this poor human, Omodema, the pacifist, is infected. He dreams of brains. So this poor human village is gonna die of zombies here in a second. So I'm gonna make some more so then they don't all just die. So what about like a rabbit per se? If we inf if we infect that, there we go. It's infected. It's vibrating. It has the little particle effect. If we go in here and see the name Mamsum, <laughs> you can see it's infected. It's a little rabbit. And if it's anything like the sheep, it shouldn't take long. There it goes. It's a zombie. It's a zombie rabbit. Oh, there's a wolf. The wolves are fighting it. No, don't kill it yet. Again, it has the green eyes and like the weird like scratches texture on it. It's also immortal. So anything zombies immortal and they like brains. And it's gonna die fighting these wolves probably. But now did it infect the wolves? It didn't infect the wolves. So can wolves, are wolves immune? Let's try it on these wolves. Oh yeah, they're infected all right. Will they turn into zombies and fight their other wolves? Oh yeah, there they go, there they go. One turned. I'm waiting for this one too. I have him here. He's behind trees. There he goes. Look at him, look at him. Pause, what, wrong one. <laughs> so again, green eyes and the same texture. Content, yes, that's exactly what you are. <laughs> oh, content. He's content with being a zombie. So he's fighting. He actually killed that wolf. He infected this wolf. So now the other wolf isn't... Oh, they're both zombies. He made him into a zombie. <laughs> so now we just have two zombie wolves out here. So for here, I've put in the other main animals here that we haven't checked out yet. So we got the penguin, the cow, the king rat, the bear, the chicken, the cat, the crab, and the turtle. And we're gonna go one by one here and see how they, they do. So I'm gonna infect them all. So the king rat, bear, chicken, get infected. So as you can see, okay, the cow has now turned. Also green eyes, same texture, so I'm assuming they'll all look like that. The bear, the ghost, the crab, the cat, the chicken, the king rat, they can all turn into zombies. This is so cool. The penguin, I didn't know this. The turtle, that's sick. That's so cool. So if I give him divine light, does it cure them from the zombie virus? Oh, it just kills him. Oh, <laughs> the poor king rat just died. All looking gnarly as heck. And now let's see if they'll fight each other or maybe zombies are all on each other's side. Yeah, okay. So zombies like zombies, makes sense. I could always change their mind. <laughs> give them some madness. Oh, the bear's gonna win. The bear's gonna win easy. Never mind, the crab just whooped the bear. <laughs> the turtle's slowly coming over here. The cow and the chicken are fighting. Oh, oh, the crab came in here, slapped the chicken from behind. No way the crab wins. What? The crab's, the crab's in between the cow and the turtle. Crab got wrecked. Turtle against cow. The turtle has seen the least conflict, it probably has the most health. The cow, I think, is at a disadvantage. The penguin, the penguin is just running out around outside. How did he even get out? <laughs> what? How did that even happen? Nah, get back in here. There we go. Okay, the penguin has rejoined the fight. I don't know how it got out of the walls. <laughs> <laughs> the cow just walked out too. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, I've made their little room a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get them all in here. All right, there we go. They're all in. Let's see who wins. <laughs> They're still going. These guys have so much health. Okay, the cow just died. The cow just got wrecked. It's now down to the penguin and the turtle. The least likely people to win. The penguin won. What do you mean the penguin won? How much health does this penguin have? 61 out of 110 is three kills. What kind of penguin do you know has three kills? What about the piranha? Let's try the piranha. See if the piranha can turn into a zombie piranha. Piranha cannot be infected by the zombie virus confirmed. 
<laughs> and I'm assuming the worm can't either. So if I spawn the worm in here and pause it, just go like this, I'll probably only infect the wolves there. I don't think the worm can be infected by a zombie virus. So now we know that most of the normal animals can be infected by the zombie virus and become zombies themselves. What about the more specialized units? So I'm going to place them down inside these boxes here and hopefully they don't figure out a way to kill each other. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. I might have to do them like one by one. <laughs> Alright, this was a mistake. Here's my new chamber of solitude where we'll be testing them one by one. So first up is the cold one. So as he's spawning in snow everywhere, I'm going to infect him with the zombie virus. So he is infected. Oh, immediately. Oh, I think he's just a normal zombie. Oh, cool. He seems to be like a normal zombie, but he still has the traits of a cold one. The cold or the weightless and the freeze proof and the regeneration. That's super cool. So let's um, dispose of him by feeding him to the bear pit. Next up, we're going to try out the demon. So here he is setting dirt on fire. All right, let's see. Okay, so he did get infected. I wonder if it'll just be like the cold ones though, where he just turns into a normal zombie and keeps kind of the demon traits. Maybe even the demon sword, maybe? Because the demons do have a flame sword of tear. And then they have all these traits. Okay, so he's he turned into a zombie. <laughs> and he keeps the demon traits. It's so cool. So he'll still leave like fire behind him everywhere. He still has fire flowing through his veins, so that's good. His turn to be fed to the bears. Goodbye, sir. Oh no, the bear's on fire. Next up, we got the bandits. Hopefully they don't blow himself up with TNT. So I'm gonna infect him. He's infected. He just changed outfit. Oh, he, okay. He's still a pyromaniac. He's still a bomber, man. So does he still like throw TNT? Oh, he does. He's eating bombs over. Whoa, that's so cool. He just used some grenades over to the bear pit. <laughs> and now he shall die for his crimes. Next up, we got the snowman. So another cold aura. Let's see if he gets, can get infected. He can't. Okay, so the snowman confirmed cannot become a zombie, but he can still get eaten by bears. <laughs> now we have the evil mage, and I'm kind of worried about spawning this guy in because I guarantee he's going to start just vaporizing the bears and everybody he sees. So he's in. Yeah, there he goes, vaporizing the bears. Quickly, where's the zombie virus? Infect him. Oh no, I infected the bears. Okay, so he is infected. <laughs> the bears are scrambling and turning into zombies and burning. Oh no, it's a massacre. But as you can see, the evil mage is infected with the zombie virus. He disappeared. What? Oh, he's up here. He's wreaking havoc on the humans. No, they're going to kill him. Oh, I don't want to pick them all up. I just want to pick him up. All right, come back here. <laughs> what? How much health does he have? He was just getting slapped up. He's still 700. He, he has 24 kills just like that immediately. He's apparently crippled with full health, but he's still infected with the zombie virus. Now he's just shooting a poor wolf, burning the trees down. He's gone again. This guy won't stay in my containment. I don't know where he is. He's probably just shooting up a city. So here, I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to spawn in multiples of them. And now I'm going to infect them all because maybe I'll, I'll actually be able to catch one of them. Oh, <laughs> he's over here. Okay, another one. They're all teleporting. This was a bad idea. There's only three of them here. The rest of them are around the world just shooting up things. Oh no. I think they keep healing themselves. They give themselves some like the blood rain if you see it. Like, just like that. Just like that guy right there. Do you guys see the wizards? There's only one in the containment facility. Or two rather. Let me, get, let me get rid of these four. I don't see any other wizards. Okay, here's one wreaking havoc. Where is he? There he is. There's a zombie down here. There's just a little zombie. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Dude, run! No! Oh, yeah, and he's on fire. Okay, well. And now we're going to try it out the white mages and see if they can become zombies. And I know they teleport around too, so let's see what happens. Okay, immediately they're fighting the bears, but that's fine. Maybe it's just a distraction. Okay, they, they do get infected by the zombie virus, first of all. Okay, that guy just teleported, dang it. He's using the same thing, just like the... Okay, they're all gone. Next up, we got the necromancers. So I'm going to place one in here. He's also going to be fighting the bears. But I don't think the necromancers can teleport, so we should be fine. I'm going to infect him with the zombie virus. The skeleton can't be infected. So he's yet to turn, so I'm going to spawn in some more. And then give him all zombie virus. Oh, see, they're doing the same thing with the demons. They send down, like, the blood stuff. I wonder if that's literally just them keeping themselves from becoming zombies. Alright, so now I have an alive house. Let's see if it gets infected by the zombie virus. It doesn't. I was definitely hopeful that we could have a zombie house. Now let's see if we can uh, make a tree into a zombie. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Just like the building. Be free, tree. Be free. Alright, the humans will deal with that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have been all waiting for patiently. The dragon. Can it or can it not turn into a zombie? Let's find out. 
I'm gonna place it right here. I'm gonna pause time so it doesn't fly away. I'm gonna infect it with a zombie virus. Okay, so it is it is infected. It's vibrating and there's the little pixel. Okay, it's already burning things. Here comes the little human. Bro, run away. What are you doing? <laughs> if the dragon dies before it turns into a zombie, I'm gonna there might be some explosions. Turn into a zombie, dragon. Do it. Do it now. There we go. <gasps> the dragon just turned into a zombie. Whoa. Cool. It's like green and purple and stuff. That's epic. So now, is it any different? Does it act different? Whoa! Whoa, it's going ham! Oh, calm down! It's zooming! It's zooming like crazy! And it's not like fire, it's like acid. Oh, that's so sick! Instead of being fire and burning stuff, it literally just, it just dissolves things. It doesn't have it in it. Oh, there it goes. Whoa! So yeah, it's still just acid. It just obliterates everything. It's just creating a new lake. So now looking at the map, what if we just spawn in uh, a ton of dragons and make them zombies? So here we are. We have some dragons. I know it doesn't look like many, but my computer's lagging and I don't know how many I spawned in. The beast says 1037. I don't, you know, that includes a lot of things. So I don't know how many dragons this is. I just infected them all with the zombie virus and we're gonna see what happens when I click play. It's just a ring of flame and death. And they should all be infected, I think. They totally are. Goodbye, world. See the poor village down here in the bottom left? No! The ring is just gonna cover it and they're just gonna be gone. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there they go. Some of them are turning green. I wonder if they'll fight the other dragons. Whoa. Here, let me make sure they are actually all infected. The poor human city. It's being obliterated. There's even some zombies in the mix. <laughs> it's just gone. As soon as the dragons come over, it's literally just all fire. Oh, I'm only getting a few frames per second. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's so cool. So I just killed a ton of them. And they turn into zombie dragons before they drop dead. Whoa. Something's happening to them. What happens when a zombie dragon dies? If my computer can handle it. Yeah, here we go. You can see all like little acid particles. Well, there you have it, everybody. Acid dragons. They're a thing. A and apparently zombie everything else too. That's so cool. I did not know that was part of the game. 